Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today we're gonna be putting another flat iron to the test and I'm super excited to test this one out because not only is it cute, but it's super tiny, it's super travel friendly and that's a pretty color. So stick around to see if this one's worth your money and just to find out how cool it is. All right, you guys, so like I said, we're gonna be putting a travel flat iron to the test. I think this is actually the smallest flat iron we've put to the test here on my channel. This is by the brand Ovani, and it's a whopping seven inches. So it is super, super tiny, and it's more for like touch-up jobs, like in between, you know when you flat iron your hair, but then the next day you just kinda have to do a little touch-up, especially if you've been exposed to humidity, at least here in Florida, I experience that a lot. So this is more for like um, travel friendly, little touch up jobs, or people that have a bob for more like just styling and framing your face. This is gonna be perfect for that kind of thing. However, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't push the limits and put this thing to the test for real. So I'm actually gonna strain my entire head. Yes, my entire head. I do have a lot of hair. It is very thick. I'm going to put this thing to the test because I think that's the only way that we can truly see if this is worth your money and it's as good as they say on Amazon reviews. Okay, first thing that really is very appealing to me is the price. This thing is $12.99. I know, super amazing. You can't beat that price. So for a traveling flat iron, you just, you can't beat that price. So it comes in this little box and it does come with a little travel, um, I guess a pouch, you could call this a little pouch so that you can slide it in here once you're done using it. I can't get over the size, you guys. If you know me, you know I am addicted to little miniature things. I find them so cute. So this is just, this is just adorable. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a really nice purple color, and I love that it has a really nice grip. That's one of the cool features about it. It has a really nice grip to it right here, and it does heat up in only 30 seconds, which is really awesome, especially if you are using it for touch-up jobs. I feel like you don't wanna be waiting on a flat iron to heat up, you know what I mean? Like, that's just obnoxious. It does have a an extra long cable, which kinda looks a little funny because the flat iron is so tiny, the cable is actually way bigger than the actual flat iron. That's so cute. It has a little Velcro on it so that you can keep it organized. The plates are coated in ceramic and tourmaline, so this is gonna be a little bit better on your hair, just a little bit easier. Hot tools are never the best for your hair, but if you are gonna choose something, um, then I recommend either ceramic, um, things like that that are just a little bit better for your hair. The ceramic and tourmaline technology basically create negative ions, which help to keep the moisture in your hair and it makes your hair appear shinier and smoother. So it's just, like I said, a lot better on your hair. So that's pretty cool, I'm impressed already. So I'm gonna plug this thing in. We're gonna see if it actually heats up in 30 seconds and then we're just gonna get to straining and see how well this thing performs. Before I get started, I usually like to prep my hair and put some heat protectant in it just so that I'm not frying it. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of that onto my hands and then onto my hair. <laughs> I'm feeling super ambitious to do my entire head with this teeny tiny flat iron, you guys. Only for you, only for you. I'm gonna brush out my hair. Okay, now I didn't mention it, but the flat iron is seven inches. However, the little plates are three fourths of an inch. So it's pretty tiny. It's actually just a little bit wider than my index finger. So I feel like you're gonna be able to create really nice little curls with it. And if you have bangs, these are gonna be um, perfect for that. You're gonna be able to style it and like really get in there. Let's turn this bad boy on. So here is the on switch. It is now 10.40 in the morning. We're gonna give it a little bit, let me see. Okay, so online it says that it heats up in 30 seconds. It has definitely been 30 seconds. It is now 10.41, so I gave it a full minute. It does feel a little warm on the outside. It doesn't feel super, super Super burning hot but it feels a little warm so I can tell it's definitely heating up um so I'm just gonna go in with it because the website says 30 seconds we're just gonna try it I'm going to just start straining just a small section of my hair whoa you can get really close to the roots of your hair I love that not bad you guys this little thing she is tiny but she is mighty <laughs> one more time 
so cute. That's actually really nice. It performs really well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually anticipating to have to work a lot harder to straighten my hair because it is so tiny, you guys. My hair is super thick and I do have a lot of it, so I was kind of like, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a, a tough one, but I am actually pretty blown away by this little thing. So I love that you can get super close to your roots because it's so thin. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting like right up in there. And I love that you can do that at the end. I don't know if you can tell. If you have a bob and you like that more styled look, I think this is gonna be perfect because you can really curve it at the end because it's so thin. There you go. This thing actually works really great. Okay, 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 okay. So now I wanna do the curl test because you guys know I always like to curl as well. I wanna see how well it curls. Okay, I'm gonna take this piece. So we've got a straight kind of wavy piece. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go up and down with it. Okay, so there you have it. You can curl, you can flat iron. It passes my test. I love tools that can do both things. So this is definitely Glenda approved. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna straighten the rest of my hair and I'll be back and tell you how long it actually took me. I'm anticipating a little bit longer than usual because like I said, I'm just doing this for fun and giggles at this point because this is pretty tiny, you guys. I definitely wouldn't straighten my entire head um, if I was in a hurry with this because like I said, it's really tiny. It is designed for touch-ups. If you're on the go, I feel like it's more of a convenience kind of thing, just having this little tool that you can really get in there um, as my baby hair is kind of, they're kind of crazy right now. Um, so you can get really in there and just touch up your bangs and your, your bob or whatever, but I'm just gonna do it for the heck of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my entire head. It is 1046. So I actually 1047. I'll be back as soon as I strain my entire head. And we're gonna see how long it takes me. All right, here we go. And okay, you guys. So it is, it is exactly 10:59 in the morning. So with that being said, again, like I said, this was just more because I wanted to prove that you can actually straighten your entire head. As you can tell, it is definitely not stick straight. It has a lot of volume still. Um, so it's definitely not what I go for when I'm straightening my entire head. I usually like it to be pretty flat and straight. However, this little thing actually blew my mind because like I said, I was doing it more for fun and giggles to straighten my entire head and just to prove that you can straighten your entire head with even this size um, flat iron. But for you, the consumer, I do think that if you are buying this, it should be with the expectation to use it for touch-up jobs unless you have less hair than I do. I have a lot of hair, you guys. I do see me taking this on trips, like shorter trips where I need to touch up because again, it's super light and it folds up super tiny. So it's really, really travel friendly. So if you're looking for something that is super travel friendly and you have shorter hair and you're wanting something for in between jobs and super affordable, then this will be your guy. I definitely say that it's Glenda approved. I think the name should be Tiny But Mighty because it is pretty darn good for the size and the money. So there you go. That is another flat iron that we've put to the test. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave me your comments below. I always hang out in the comments section right after I post my videos just so that we can chat. Let me know what you want to see me test next, um, what videos you're interested in seeing from me. And if you like this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is super easy and free. And follow me on Instagram so that you can keep up with me in between videos. All right, you guys. I love Love you tons and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.